you came here in thousands and you have made a difference to this country. And the people of this great country adore you and they respect you for your professionalism and hard work. So you have been good ambassadors for our country. You have represented us well. You have made us proud. You have dignified our motherland. So I want to say Pongezi. Uh, again, you have raised the issue of work permits. It is true. When this country was struggling, Kenyans came in hardy and you are here in thousands to fill the gap. Along the way, when they developed their own capacity, they started being a little bit strict on the work permits. So luckily, I have an appointment with the president of this great republic on Monday morning. A conversation, as the PR said, is going on, on creating a diaspora bond. The government wants to create an investment forum guaranteed by government for the people in diaspora. How you can invest back home in a safe manner and your savings are safe. We'll be mapping out credible real estate developers to work with the State Department of Diaspora Affairs and people will be allowed to save up to 6% and the employer 6%, that is 12%, and that is good saving. So that as you grow in age, when you need help in old age, with the challenges of old age, you have a substantial saving. So alongside NSSF, we want to leverage on the saving from the diaspora. So once our people, the National Treasury and the State Department perfect that plan. Please, we want to urge you to do it. Again, I want to ask for your help. We need you to save at home. Other countries where we borrow money, they lend us money from savings from their countrymen. If you people agree with a good framework to save money at home. That is the money the government can borrow for development at an interest instead of going to China. And there are serious discussions on possible reforms to get KQ back on track. I'm on the issue of voting rights is true. It's a constitutional requirement. We need you people in the diaspora to be part of the decision-making process to determine the leadership of Kenya. More so because you have loved ones back at home, you have people that are important to you and they need to be governed well. And since you have more exposure, you should participate in deciding the leadership of the country. Of course, as it were, the matter is handled by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, which is an independent commission. But the problem has not been that they are not willing it has been the budgetary allocation. So that is something as a government we need to do. Ask them to map up, to map the whole world, and as a government allocate sufficient funds to enable them to register voters across the world and create polling stations within the country so that people can exercise their voting right and they can participate in the democratic process of deciding who leads Kenya and how Kenyans are governed. So that is something we'll be pursuing. Of course, you know, as we speak today, we don't have commissioners for the IBC. The process had begun in earnest, but you know there are few dynamics after the demonstrations and the wearing of Sufuria's on the head. And I'm sure in the due course, uh, commissioners will be in place and then as a government, we can engage them about the diaspora vote so that we can be able to make some progress.